Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this quick tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can set up this kind of reference images for your 3D models. In this case we're going to use the character uh, reference images. So first you have to make sure you create your reference images in the same size. So we have this front view and the side view. Both made uh, in size 400 by 800. And uh, here is how we set this up. So first of all we're going to go to front view pressing F on the keyboard and pressing G on the keyboard to make the grid invisible and we are going to select plane and just drag it and right click on it to deselect the plane values and then go to here to modify list and we're going to make sure we do the same scale um, as we saw here, so here we is 200, uh, 400 to 800, which means 2 to 1. Uh, so we're going to use for length, which is in our case height, uh, 100, and for width, we're going to go 50. So this is 2 to 1. Make sure you have only one uh, length segment and only one wide segment. Uh, and this is pretty much it. Uh, now if we press G on the keyboard again we can see on the perspective view pressing P on the keyboard that the plane is not really aligned with the center of the grid uh, nor with the bottom of the grid. So uh, we can do that easily by right clicking on select and move and right clicking on these arrows for X value and setting Z value uh, in 50 which means the half of the length so whatever size you have uh, put on here you just uh, type in the half of it in the Z value and your plane is going to be perfectly aligned with the bottom grid so then we just open up our uh, material editor pressing M on the keyboard and then just select one of these slots for material and clicking on standard we select multi sub objects and we are going to discard old material and pressing on the first slot here we are going to select standard and on the diffuse we are going to uh, click here when it says none and we are going to select bitmap and select uh, one of our reference images. Uh, we are going to go up one one step and name it. It's always good to name these um, materials so you know which one consists of what. Uh, so you should switch on this show shaded material and viewport and go one uh, step up again. So this time you, we are going to click here on the second slot, do the same, select standard and on the diffuse click here on when it says none and bitmap and select the other reference image. Again go up one step, uh, rename it, just selecting it and typing the new name and making sure you have the show shaded material and viewport switched on. This way we created these two materials and using just one slot. Um, and now we are going to uh, assign material to selection. So you have to have your uh, plane selected. And clicking here we can see our first uh, reference uh, applied to this plane. So we want to see the uh, add one too, so we're going to go uh, here, si uh, select and rotate and make sure you have angle snap toggle on, switched on, which can be switched on by clicking on it or pressing A on the keyboard. Then we are going to hold shift on the keyboard and rotate it on this blue line for minus 90 degrees and make a copy of it. 
then we're going to move uh, this to the side and typing in 50 on the X and selecting the other one and typing 50 on the Y so when we model our model it is going to be seen uh, easily with reference images uh, seen also so we're going to select this side view and we're going to convert it to editable poly by right clicking on the name and selecting editable poly and we're going to uh, click on polygons and click on the polygon that we have and we're going to set ID to 2 and as we click away we can see we have the second we have the second uh, material which is set up under number 2 uh, shown in this uh, on this plane so now it's it's probably uh, it's always good to uh, make it uh, unselectable both of these uh, both of these planes so we're going to select them both right click on them and go to object properties and we're going to set uh, this to freeze and unclick this show frozen gray so it's visible when it's frozen and we're going to untick this render ball so whenever we render whatever we uh, model in our view uh, the reference images won't be seen in the render which is great so now we cannot uh, accidentally select the reference images and we can start to model our model so this is pretty much it for this tutorial uh, subscribe to my channel check out the rest of the videos Share this video, comment, like it, and till next time. Bye.